Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. This will go from February 16th through the 22nd. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. Okay, Aries, so I've taken the liberty of pulling the cards already because I have 12 of these to do, okay? Um, Aries, it looks like a, a, a week of... Some of you are torn, one foot in, one foot out, in regards to walking away from something that is unfulfilling. You thought if you put a lot of energy, effort, time, love into a particular relationship, doesn't look like it's commitment, but it's like sex and just doing, the just the act of being in a relationship, but not really having the title. You thought if you if you just continued to put energy, effort, time behind that, you would get what you wanted. But it looks like now you're at a crossroads in regards to maybe ending that relationship. You or someone else could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. It could be someone who owns their own business, someone who has a lot of money. But, they're, but they make really good business decisions and they're not really frivolous with their money they don't just give it away or give it out so easily so quickly also you may have asked someone for money too and it's like a toss-up or something in the air or there was an there wasn't a response or it wasn't outright no or vice versa someone did this to you someone asked you for money um whatever this is it's just like great disappointment and it puts you in a place of you know the eight of cups wanting or needing to walk away can you see that okay it's just like this is the final blow here and now you get it ten of swords it's just it's just not going to work some of you may even release some of the feelings the emotions, the, the just all of that pent up energy that you have in regards to this person, you may release it and just tell them exactly how you feel. Good, bad, indifferent, whatever. You don't care at this point because it's just been so disappointing in regards to dealing with this person that you're just like, I don't care. I'm done. And this person may be holding on to their feelings in regards to how they feel about you what they really want this person also may already be coupled or married they're trying to hold on to both dynamics you if you're the other person and they're already established for pentacle relationship this person could be suppressing how they feel about you it could be a cancer pisces this person is just really they're, they're trying to ignore how they actually feel for you or about you. Because they've already established relation with another. Marriage, committed relationship, whatever it may be. They've already, they, they already are in the establishment. The advice for you this week is to the alien the hermit card separate yourself seek to answer the questions of why how come what for in, in regards to relationships in regards to re, re, uh, recurring situations in regards to trying to take yourself to the next level to lessons learned knowledge it says that maybe some message a distraction will come in for you but your advice is to separate yourself you may even get like some burst of uh, energy intuition in regards to what it is you need to do next because it says if you follow the advice of the cards which it is to separate yourself answer those questions right um it says that you're looking for answers outside of yourself but the answers are within you self-discovery 
a hermit card. It says if you if you take the advice of the cards, the potential outcome is the nine of cups. So these are this is a nine too, a hermit card. So it said the nines are about separation, being ready, being prepared, being knowledgeable, being in that place of taking yourself, situation, relationship, whatever, to the next level, right? It says that you'll have a love of life, a, a new, like I said, a, a zest for, I don't know. Um, You'll be in a place of being able to make a wish because it can possibly come true. Being right on the brink of complete and utter the highest level of happiness, which is the Ten of Cups. But you'll be ready for it. You'll, you're ready for what you actually desire. What you feel you are without. If you take the advice of the cards and separate yourself, it's self-discovery. Start asking the questions. Why? What for? How come? Because they're within you. Um, seems like you know that too. The two shells that I pulled. Wow. Family. So either you have a family. You, we all have family. The one that we're born into. And then the one that we create. Uh, I'm feeling like this would be the one you create. So either you have a family that you've already created. Or someone else in this whole dynamic has a family. Um, hell. Oh, got the hell. Um, you feel like this is hell with the Ten of Swords here. Some of you need to move or you want to move. You live with family. Somebody has a family. Someone is disappointing you in regards to this this energy effort time you put in with them. And it just feels like the proverbial hell. Like just go, once again, going over certain situations over and over again. Asking the questions, why? Something is, is hell for the Aries. Uh, it says that the advice is to separate yourself and possibly you can get the Nine of Cups or be at that place of being able to usher in what you really want, what you really desire. Aries, it looks like there needs to be a healing of the heart and of the mind. Some of you are feeling depleted and just downright this is just great disappointment and desolation just being depleted um on my website i have the the white candles you can get a white candle from anywhere you don't have to get it from me but take advantage of that you need healing and when you light that candle you say that's a simple prayer of thank you whomever you believe in or whatever you believe in universe god spirit whatever angels for healing my heart and my mind getting me in that space in that place of self-discovery Therefore, I can have what it is I really desire and what I deserve. But it starts with you. It's like you want all of this, these things or this could be lots of things, the Nine of Cups. But the universe is saying that you're not ready for it. You're not ready for it because you have some healing to do. And you keep going over the same cycle, the same situation, this different person, same situation. When you start to see that, then it you have to step back. And I'm not speaking at you, I'm speaking with you. You have to step back and you have to say, What what is this? The hermit card. I mean, you have to really dig deep. Either that's sitting with therapist, uh, counselor, or whomever. Someone that, that can help comb through the emotions. Comb through the experience that has brought you to this point. So that you can get some revelation. But it's self-discovery. And, it, and you're only going to do this if you set yourself apart. Okay, Aries. A real... I'm hearing it's up to you. You can just continue like this on that same cycle, or you can break the cycle and go to something new. It's up to you because you only have one major arcana, the, the hermit card. You suppress your feelings too. 
in regards to other people, in regards to relationships and certain dynamics that you put yourself in. It's a it's a whole bunch of I don't care and this and like a like a you know what's the girls I mean what's the, the hot girls type of music like you know not not caring not giving an f about anything or anybody but you really do care you really do want something real as we all do Aries tough week not not really I think you know that you have to do this you can get through it you're stronger than than anything if you have a question uh, or two you can text the number below in the description box you can go over to the website book your own reading there take advantage of the coupon codes below if you don't see them you can always send an email about the coupon codes do not send an email and say do you do personal readings it's a whole website there for you to look over okay um Thank you, Aries. Uh, do stay in prayer. Know that I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care, guys.